Are you looking for an affordable headlight for your motorcycle that won't break the bank? Tired of spending money on cheap knockoff products on Amazon that don't make the cut? In this video, we're gonna review the Generation 3 7 inch halo LED headlight made by Eagle Lights. Keith over at Eagle Lights was kind enough to send me a light so I could do a review. Let me just get one thing straight real quick. Just because they sent me this light, doesn't mean I'm gonna give it a good review. I'm gonna give you my 100% no BS honest review of this product. Stay tuned until the end because I have a couple different ways that you can save some money on this light if you decide to buy it. Let's hop in and see if this light makes the cut. Let's start off with the specs and features. The outer lens material is made of a strong polycarbonate. The housing material is die cast aluminum this light produces 3,315 lumens with the high beam and 2,170 lumens with the low beam. This headlight is MSC and DOT approved. This means this isn't some cheap knockoff light. In order to get the motorcycle safety certification, this light has to go through certain tests to make sure it's up to par with their requirements. If you want to know the requirements in order to get the MSC, you can simply go to Eagle Light's website or just Google motorcycle safety certification. This headlight is an easy plug and play installation. However, you want to make sure you go to Eagle Light's website to check if you need the single or the dual bulb adapter harness. If you're installing this on an Indian motorcycle that's 2020 or newer, you will also have to purchase the adapter harness. Lastly, if you're installing this on a 2013 or older Harley Davidson, you're gonna have to purchase the adapter ring for installation. This will hardly affect the installation time, so don't worry. The light is IP67 waterproof. The halo ring is already pre-wired into the harness, so that way you don't have to worry about running an extra wire. Unlike the cheap knockoffs on Amazon. And the last and best feature of this light, it has a lifetime LED warranty. It's freaking huge! I like this because this just goes to show that Eagle Lights stand behind their product. Now the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's unbox this bad boy. I haven't opened this box yet because I wanted to capture my first initial thoughts of this product. So let's go on in and open this bad boy up. All right, so this is the packaging that it comes in. Just a plain old black box. Let's go ahead and open it up here. All right, so in this box, it's covered in this foam right here. Very nicely packed. Under the first layer of foam, the headlight is sitting in a second layer of foam, so that way it doesn't bounce around during shipping. The light is also covered with a nice protective film, so that way it doesn't get scratched up. Let's take it out of the foam. All the wires are nicely ran. This right here is already installed. This is the dual bulb splitter that I need for my 17 Street Glide. So I like that they already plug it in for you so you can just take it right out of the box and hop into installation. So far, so good. Let's go into the garage and show you how to install this light. We're in the garage now. We're ready to install this bad boy. This job should only take you about 10 to 20 minutes max. This is an extremely easy DIY project. All you're gonna need is this here screwdriver. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and get you a towel and put it over the fender so that way nothing scratches it. Now you're gonna take your Phillips screwdriver and remove this little screw right here. By removing this screw, this will allow you to take the trim ring off. Now you're just gonna simply pull off the trim ring. Just like so. After taking that trim ring off, you're gonna have three Phillips head screws that you're gonna have to remove to get the actual headlight out of it. Once you get to the third screw, make sure you put a hand on your old headlight so it doesn't fall down. Now that you got the headlight out, you're just gonna simply unplug your old headlight. Now that you got that headlight out, you're just gonna get it out of the way. Now you're gonna get your new headlight, but make sure when you install this, there's a spot on here that says DOT. That is pointed up towards the top because that's the top of the headlight. Now you're gonna take your first wire. This one is marked low. And then as you can see on here, on this plug, it's marked low. You're just gonna simply plug these two together. 
Then you're just gonna take your other wire, plug around it. Now that we have the headlight all plugged in, we're gonna turn on the bike and just double check that it's gonna work. This could save you a little bit of trouble in case it's defective. Wow, that is bright. Now that we know that it works, we're gonna go ahead and install this onto the bike. Your first step is you're gonna wind up this cord a little bit, kind of spiral it in there, insert the headlight, and then make sure you have this DOT writing right here, top and center. Now you're gonna take your trim ring and slide it over the headlight. Make sure not to get any of this plastic caught underneath there. Now that you have your ring on there, you're gonna line up all three of the little ears with the holes and then install the Phillips screws. Now we have the three Phillips screwed installed. Now our last step is gonna be installing the trim ring. When you're installing the trim ring, make sure you look for this hole right here. That's gonna be the bottom of the trim ring. Then you're gonna go ahead and slide this trim ring on. Make sure you're lining up your bottom hole with the bracket that's down underneath. And then all you're gonna have to do is install the little screw that came out of there and you're done. Now that we have this headlight installed, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the cheap Amazon knockoff that I had, and then I'll show you the new Eagle Lights headlight. As you can see, the Eagle Light outperforms the cheap Amazon knockoff. The Eagle Light is just a little bit brighter, but the main takeaway from this is that it projects a much wider beam. This is essential when you're riding at night. All in all, I am impressed with this light, especially for the price. Not only do they have a great product, but they have an awesome company. They have excellent customer service, their shipping is extremely fast. They stand behind their product with their lifetime LED warranty. As I said in the beginning of the video, I had a couple of ways that you can save some money if you decide to order this light. I left an affiliate link down in the description. If you use this link, I'll get a small kickback that helps support the channel. Don't be mistaken though, this does not charge you any extra money. This is just your way of being able to show me support so I can make great videos like this one. So the first way I'm excited to announce, Eagle Lights gave me my own promo code that I could share with my viewers. Type in JOGO10 at checkout and you'll get 10% off your entire order. Now the second way that you can save some money, which is personally my favorite, Eagle Lights provides a 20% military discount. As an active military member myself, I greatly appreciate this. All you have to do is go to their site, scroll all the way down to the bottom until you see the hyperlink that says military discount. After you click the link, all you do is fill out the short little form, might take you 30 seconds, and you'll unlock the 20% discount. Again, I wanna thank Keith from Eagle Lights for sending me this great product so I could do a review on it. If you wanna see more product reviews and motorcycle tips, check out this playlist right here. This is Joe Go with Joe Go Motorcycle Adventures. Until next time, ride on.